So hi everyone. So yesterday we have seen so how to handle exception when there is an exception in application, right? So let me give summary of yesterday's class. Let me start the application. Application started successfully. So now I can go to the browser and local post colon at zero zero slash find. What is the API? Find employee slash one. So for the time being, nothing, no employees are there, right? So one is not there. So whenever you start the server, so DB2 in memory database will not have any data, right? So the employee table will not have any data. So that's the reason it is giving employee not found. So for not found or not for in the sense, not found the requested resource not found. So if you try from the browser, the get API which you have tried from the browser, it is returning, Spring Boot is returning with JSP error page, right? JSP error page saying that not found, for not for in the sense not found. Let me try from the postman. So I'm, I'm trying to search employee to, let me send the request. So I got the response from the server. What it is, what kind of structure it is? It is a JSON response. The moment you send the request from the REST API, so you are getting JSON response. Spring Boot is capable of returning JSON response. And if you try from the browser, it is Spring Boot is returning JSP with error code saying that not found employee one is not found so so this is the structure currently spring boot is returning so in generally in real time what will happen so consumer want his own data in his own uh, format so this format is by default sent from spring boot application so how we can customize this so if we want to customize this uh, error response, so you, user have, uh, developer has to create his own custom handler, custom request error handler we have to write. So some of the people, uh, consumers, consumers are client or anywhere based on their requirement, whenever there is an exception in their server, they will follow their own standards. So they will follow their own structure of response they will follow. So this response is sending from the server by default Spring Boot is giving, this is the format. So timestamp and status 404 and error, it is saying that not found. So how we can customize this, our custom user, uh, end user, uh, so our customized error response, we can create it based on our requirement, we can create our, custom response from the server if whenever there is an application error then we can return we can write the code to handle this uh, custom response okay so how we can do that let me go to in eclipse so now so how we have done in, in a uh, gdbc class repository class we have written try catch block and we are handling the exception and uh, whenever there is a no no user found in a h2 database then it will throw jdbc spring jdbc will throw an exception saying that empty result data access exception so here we are throwing our custom exception class right so employee not found exception how we can create custom user defined exception class by extending runtime exception okay so now we are going to handle now the response the server which is sending the response right json format specific json response server sent from um, uh, uh, some of the server so here we, we are going to customize our own response okay we are going to customize our own response structure so how we can do that? So let me see now. So for that, we need to create our uh, customized uh, handlers. So in Spring Boot, we can Spring Boot or traditional Spring, anywhere in traditional Spring or Spring Boot, you can create your own customized response. You can return it. 
so how we can do that so let me go and create it so how we can create so let me go go to our project so resources where we can create the classes inside the root folder of project right so right click on the root folder of the project and click on that new and create package called uh, uh sorry i already created exception package right you can see i already created exception package so better create here itself so go to the right click on that package and create the class saying that so what is that uh, so application so for example this is our uh, spring boot jdbc right so we can create uh, for example this project is belongs to employee right this project is belongs to employee since it is employee then i am going to create customize custom class name as employee uh, employee uh, i can give employee error handler or exception handler So I'm going to create the class employee exception handler. Since this module or this project belongs to employee details, so I am giving name it as a employee exception handler. Generally, whenever the project name, the project name which we are created, right? Based on the project name, uh, your exception classes will be created in generally in software industry overall uh, real time projects, right? The project name belongs to any domain that specific domain related name they will give okay so for example here we are creating employee right so that's the reason i'm going to create employee exception handler so this handler now let me click on finish button so instead of that so we can extend also for if you want to create any exception handler so spring boot will create so who is uh, for example whenever we are sending the request right this jsp is returns here and when you uh, send the request from the uh, postman, so Spring Boot is returning some uh, error response, right? So all those things, who is going to send? There is a class called response entity. There is a class called response, R-E-S-P-O, response entity. You can see response entity exception handler. So where it is available, it will be available in servlet MVC method annotations. So org dot spring framework dot web servlet dot MVC method dot annotation package contains response exception handler. Response web mod spring web module is having this class response entity exception handler. So let me click on finish button. You can see the class extends our employee exception handler is extends response entity exception handler this is the class is returning all the exception which is available which is uh, uh, happening in our application by default so spring boot is throwing these are all the exceptions by default in rest api you can see different kinds of set of methods are there if you press control o handle exception you can see see different kinds of uh, handle exception, handle HTTP request method not supported, handle media type not supported, handle HTTP media type not acceptable, handle missing path variable, handle missing servlet request, handle missing servlet request part. So like this, different kinds of exceptions are by default Spring Boot, Spring Web Model is providing us, right? So now what we are doing, so we are going to customize this, uh, we are going to override this method in our custom uh, exception handler. So for that, so we need to override this method. So for example, you can see what is that uh, default uh, generic exception method here. You can see the very first method. How you can see just control o, open this class. How you can open this class, just click on this response entity handler. You can make it note guys. Whenever you are uh, watching this video or now itself, if you take one book behind you and make it not, so how we are how we are going to create our uh, uh, custom exception handler by extending response entity exception handler by extending response entity exception handler. So you can see description here. Okay. So now let me go inside that. So control O and different set of methods are available just i'm taking generic exception 
method you can see here generic exception method so you can see here so this one we can override here you have a lot of exceptions based on our uh, uh, exception type spring boot is returning respective this class is returning respective error so now we are going to through our custom user defined exception now so now go there employee exception handler we are going to override that method very very easy guys so how we are going to override just by declaring this method and this method name we have to change it actually so here because if you see inside that method what is this class abstract class this exception handler class is abstract class and if you go and check uh, handle exception so this is not now this is this uh, method is uh, available in response entity handler so this one we are overriding it so now what we can do go to here so whenever you are overriding it just you change this method name as exception uh, handle our uh, custom uh, exceptions app exceptions something like that so now our as of now let it as is so how we can give so how we are going to handle there is a annotation call so we have to declare our uh, own exception so our own customized exception we are going to throw right so that time there is an annotation called exception at the rate exception handler so as part of exception handler we have to uh, pass exception dot class object exception dot class object that's it so whenever any exception happening in our application so spring boot will throw uh, whatever message we are declaring inside this method this exception class is going to return that respective message so now our customized error message we have to throw right our customized error message we have to throw now what we can do so generally let me return the error message return what what this method is expecting return type response entity of object respond response entity of object return new response response p one is response entity of object of let me create what is what kind of object let me try exception let me try exception only as of now so what uh, what here we need to pass ex comma so there is a uh, http status respect http status message we need to uh, we need to define here internal server error there is a method called internal server error this method is returning error why because it is saying cannot override final method from response entity handler it is clearly saying this method is final actually by default this method is in a handle exception you can see in handle exception it is a final so you learn the core java concepts right whenever a method declare it as a final whenever a method declare it as a final you cannot override into subclass so i am extending this class uh, so response exception handler is extends response entity exception handler but i am trying to override that so what it is saying so since it is a final method so cannot override final method so some people will ask interview can you can you override a final method in your class child class so you have to say we cannot override final methods in our child classes okay you cannot override so what you can do now you just need to you can you make you can make use of future of uh, all the you can make use all the futures which are available in this class but you cannot override the exception so you cannot override these methods final methods so now handle uh, employee exceptions i will write handle employee exception just save it just import uh, organize imports so what you can why this again still the mismatch cannot convert from response entity to response entity of object oh, okay so this is not uh, so what you can do string it will not allow so what we can do we'll do one thing we'll create our uh, custom exception class or we'll remove from here let me try just remove so if you remove so now your uh, exception handler is ready now 
so now uh, this is our custom custom uh, method which we have written so whenever any exception happened here so what will happen so it is going so still some error is there what is that error let's see multiple mortgage the responsibility is a raw type reference to generic type response of t should be parameterized type safety okay anyway that uh, we can ignore not a problem as of now so let me remove this exception so this warning uh, is expecting some uh, type need to define so as of now i'm uh, i don't want to uh, return that employee class so now whenever some exception happen it will throw our exception if you want to check right whether it is really calling or not what you can do so let me go to your uh, browser and let me stop the server so let me stop the server so i, I have done uh, changes right so we have removed the dependency here we have removed dependency removed in the sense i have commented out right spring dev tools so that's the reason whenever any changes are happened so we need to restart the server so let me restart the server so how we can restart so it is so now go there run spring boot jdbc application so now so for testing purpose what i will do i will just go there and then i will try to search employee user number two you can see it is throwing 404 why it is throwing 404 let me go on it is not uh, that uh, the class is not being called still it is throwing uh, not found so now what we can do go to your employee that handler class employee exception handler. why because so spring doesn't know how do how spring knows so this is our customized exception class Spring or Spring Boot, it does uh, should know whether we have declared our customizer class or not. How it will be know? So we have to declare it as a controller advice. There is a annotation. There is a annotation saying that this class is going to be customized exception handler. So uh, user is going to this class is going to tell to Spring Boot container use this handler class to display error messages use this handler class to display error messages so how we can tell spring boot to use our class by defining a direct controller advice what we can declare we can declare a direct controller advice that's it so let me stop the server so what does it mean so you can see here specialization of the class to declare exception handler and model attributes uh, across multiple controllers across multiple controllers in the sense any controller for example in your application if you have number of controllers for example in a real time application you may have a lot of controllers different modules will be there right in the respective project so all the controllers any exception happens in uh, all the controllers or services so any exception happen in your application so this handler is going to execute to display specific exception so what we need to declare at the rate controller advice saying that you uh, we are telling spring boot to use our customized exception handler to display the error messages okay so you can see classes annotated with controller advice can be declared explicitly as spring bean or auto detect via class path okay it will detect automatically for scanning all by scanning all the controllers all such been as stored based on semantic order priority okay so you can go and through you can go through the respective uh, content okay so you have to mainly remember so how you can create your customized exception handler in spring or spring boot by extending response exception handler after that you have to you can use the future of all the exceptions okay you can use the future of all the features which are available in exception handler by overriding the method and we cannot override exact method because it is a final method so we, we need to modify the method name and then we can declare it as a direct exception handler the moment you declare a direct exception handler so spring container knows uh, so if you have any class defined with a direct controller advice spring boot container knows or spring container knows this is the exception handler is going to execute 
टू शो एरर मेसेजेस और एक्सीप्शन ओके गाइज सो यू हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन दैट इज एन ऑफ ओके सो नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट द सर्वर नाउ very simple you just need to remember by extending the response exception handler you can create your customized exception uh, handler and by specifying at the rate controller advice specifying controller advice okay so now uh we can test this how we can test it and i just start the server go to your bro uh, go to your uh, repost man or somewhere so just send the request you can see it is returning lot of response you can see how many how many exceptions it is showing 500 you can see exceptions class loader class name see now earlier what it is returning it is returning not found on something like that you can see 500 internal server error now when i am whenever i am trying to search the employee uh, number 2 who is not available in database let me go and show you this employee is not available in database where we can check we are using we are using h2 in memory database right local host colon 8080 slash what is the url h2 iphone console so let me log in admin and connect it so go to employee table and click on run button there is no records available in employee table now what i am doing i am trying to search employee 2 he so if you see in the database there is no records available in your employee table so now when i am i'm sending the request now it is throwing 500 internal server exception sir you make ask question sir how how do you know whether this is coming from our customized exception handler so how do you know so let me testing purpose what i will do system dot as of now system dot you can debug also guys system dot i can put breakpoint here it will go directly so instead of that i will show you another way to debug it how we can debug system dot out dot printl and i just want to display some message let's see and a uh, exception coming from coming from my customized customized handler okay just save it i just saved it so let me stop the server and start the server so now i just started the server so now just uh, you can just clear the logs as of now clear the logs how you can clear by clicking there is a button clear console you can see there is a clear console just click on that you can clear the logs now go to postman and send the request so server is returning 500 internal server error if you see the console which handler class is being executed our customized exception handler is being executed you can see here exception coming from my customized handler you can say that now confirm so this exception whatever response coming from from where this response is coming your customized exception handler is throwing this exception by extending response entity handler so this is the message to prove your customer exception handler is been executed whenever exception comes so what is the response code it is written 500 so 500 internal server error right 500 internal server sir earlier we have written employee not found so what we are throwing in uh, uh employee jdbc repository so we are throwing employee not found but what is this it is throwing 500 internal server error so how we can throw that employee not found exception so it is uh, this 500 internal server is generic exception which is thrown by our customized uh, response handler right so now what we can do 
exception handler just go there if you want to throw your user defined exception this is generic exception method so whenever any exception comes it will always throws it will always throws 500 internal error message it will always throw 500 internal server error 500 internal server error and one more thing so there is a lot of unused uh, json response is being sent so i don't want to see these many unused uh, response so how we can customize this let's customize now how to customize this error response so currently my custom response handler is returning this much response so i don't want to uh, see so why this is returning because here i am i am say i am returning uh, actual exception which is throwing so that's the reason it is showing number of lot of json response lot of code you can see lot of uh, json this json is response is having lot of app and nothing so i cannot understand anything so what i can do so let me customize our exception res uh, response which is done by our exception handler so what we can do let me create our own class to display custom res uh, custom json response okay so right click on exception class create uh, uh, go to new and then click uh, click on class so i will create like a uh, employee uh, employee or uh, application info just generically application info error info application error info so application error info just click on finish button so application error info is created so now what i will do i will create my own property so what is the response earlier if you see what is the response before that so let me remove that uh, annotation so let me remove that annotation by default uh, spring boot is returning some response right so for that for the time being i'm just commenting out to check uh, what kind of response spring boot is returning okay so let me start the server again server started successfully i'm sending the request you can see this is the default format what is this format is has timestamp and status and error not found and path so now we are going to customize this exception response message okay so how we can customize so let me enable this and then stop the server let me create my own custom error class application error info so what i will do private as as per standard as per standard each error message uh, depends on the company rights guys depends on the company or depends on the consumer or client who is using our apis he will so they, they are having their specific uh, standard uh, response format okay standard error response format based on their requirement we have to create error response okay based on our project response based on consumer or client uh, uh, requirement we have to create uh, their own custom response error message okay so for the time being sample i am creating okay so you don't think like uh, always we have to create in same way no you should understand the concept and based on the based on their requirement you have to create their own customized format okay so for the time being i am going to create our own customized format just saying that let me create timestamps so local date timestamps okay local date timestamp on property i'm going to take and then create private string message message in the sense string message uh, error message error message so this is uh, wrong actually private okay syntactical error private sorry p r i v a t okay private string message so this will display uh, respective error message which is uh, throwing by the respective method so let me write another property by saying description of the message description of the error message dec dec description c r i p t i o n okay 
description d e s c r i p t i o n okay description so local we are going to display local time uh, time of the exception time of the exception and uh, specific error message and this is description of entire uh, exception so now what i will do now so let me create the constructor using these two three fields so go to source and generate constructor generate constructor using fields select all then click on generate button so customer is available so now let me so how you can get the messages if you want to get the messages uh, which are uh, which are available if you want to get the messages so we need only getter methods we need only getter methods right so i am going to generate getter methods so source so generate get uh, only getter methods to get the messages okay so that's it we do not need the setter methods if if you need required you can create it so as of now i am not going to use setter methods so that's the reason i am i have not created setter methods okay so now only getter methods i am going to create and i have created one simple constructor and which is having three properties three uh three properties one is uh date time uh, instead of date time or something time uh, okay local date time so exception of the message and uh, message of uh, respective error message and this is error message description so where we can use this go to your exception handler class your exception handler class let me create let me create so what is the class we have created employee employee or application something application uh, a p p l i application error info okay application error info is equal to new application error info so what are all the arguments we need to pass so we need to pass so first uh, what is the first argument time right you can go and check what is the first argument local date and time second argument error error message and message error message description so let me go and pass so here local date so local time how we can pass local time there is a local date time dot now that's it local date time dot now it will display current time of error message so here there is a E exception object right exception object ex so ex dot get message from the the exception which is thrown by uh, method okay so now next what is the third one descriptions from where we can get the description there is a web request objects request dot request dot there is a method called description false you can pass as a false that's it so we have created we have created our custom application error message error info now we need to pass as part of response entity as part of handle exception uh, employee exception method is returning response entity object so we so we need to pass as part of response entity argument so earlier which one we are passing earlier we are passing exception directly we are passing exception so which is returning lot of junk response rights so instead of that uh, now i am going to pass my user defined object my user defined object here so that's it so internal server save this, save this class now i can pass my custom exception class now type is a custom exception class this save and control shift to o so why it is throwing exception still cannot convert from yeah so this employee error info you just need to pass it here that's it control shift f control a control shift f and save okay so now our customized exception format we are going to return now let's see what it will throw now so let me start stop the server is already stopped right so let me start the server we are going to sh show the response based on our requirement we are going to 
send response back to our REST client. So let me send the request. So this user is not available in database. If you see now, you can see local date time, our own response, our own customized error, uh, error JSON response we are able to see now. So see here now, local date time, and what is the message id2 so this to whatever api we are going to send this id2 equal to description is so because of this api because of this api uh, exception is throwing okay so now let me send one more time so, okay got it right from where this id equal to is coming you can see let me go to employee jdbc repository here i'm passing right employee not found so still this is this is this is going to execute and it is taking this message whatever message i am passing as part of employee not found exception id is called specific user id this is the id we are able to display now id 2 is not available let me show uh, generic message let me show generic message what does it message employee not found right so let me write employee employee id uh, plus you can just need to customize employee id plus uh, whatever id is coming from here employee id number three not found that's it now i just uh, customize it now so let me stop the server now let me start the server now we will have some meaningful error exception name so consumer can understand easily consumer can understand easily let me send the request you can see see employee id 2 not found now any end user who is not having any end user or consumer who he can who is consuming this web service so he can able he, he can easily understand what is the problem of uh, exception what is this employee 2 employee id to not found not found so let me give some space let me give some space employee id not found in database or their system anything employee not found in uh, database or system anything you can give so based on their requirement you have to specify respective error message very very easy guys you have to understand the concept that's it based on the requirement you can uh, display your own exception handler class see now it is clearly saying employee to not found in database let me try employee number one so i'm sending the request so what it is saying employee number one not found in database uh, by executing this URI, find employee slash one URI is throwing exception that is employee ID one not found in database. So let me check, let me create the employee. Let me create one employee, okay? So how you can create the employee? Let me open the controller, control shift R. If you want to open the class, what you have to do? Control shift R and, and a try, type employee controller employee rest controller right so just type you can see so how we can create the employee by invoking this api create employee so let me uh create employee okay so create employee what is the http method post method so we need to pass the body right so select the raw type and uh, let me send uh, sachin tendulkar okay let me create sachin tendulkar yeah such an is created you can see it is returning one in the sense employees created successfully you can customize this error response also guys so based on your requirement you can customize employees created or something like that you can show so now let me create one more employee to uh such in general car or uh, roy sharma roy sharma roy sharma is my favorite player guys so rohit sharma and let me create Rohit. Okay, so let me send the request. So two employees are available in database now. Let me go and check whether data is saved or not. How we can check? Just open and log in. 
and click on that employee class and click on run button you can see two records are available so now what i will do now i will find the employee those employees i can find now so let me call that api find employees what is the http request method get request so which employee i am going to send one so let me search so server is responding server is responding employee one let me try employee two send the request so employee two also returning successfully let me try employee three so what is happening now you can see employee id three not found in database employee three is not found in the database now some people may have doubt sir it is returning internal server error 500 so what about uh, so whenever employee not found what is the error code it should return it should return 404 right 404 so this is generic exception so we actually what it should return 404 so the exception handler class which we have written currently it will give generic exception what is that generic exception internal server error what is that generic exception? Internal server error. So any exception comes, it will always return 500. It will always, any exception which is happening in the application, that handler always return 500 internal error and respective message. So instead of 500 internal error, so let me throw what is a customized user response so employee not found employee not found in the sense let me go to jdbc repository see employee not found employee not found in the sense it should return not found not found in the sense 404 you can see not found in the sense 404 should return how we can do that so now let me go to employee exception handler let me copy same message okay let me copy the method just to paste it here and then just to change your method name as a employee em, employee employee not found any this method name can be any guys you can give any name so as of now i'm going to throw employee exception name that's the reason i'm giving it as employee not found employee not found x e p t i y n t i y n okay so now what we have to return so exception handler so earlier generic exception we are handling here if you see earlier we are handling generic exception now instead of generic exception what i will do here the employee not found you just need to pass employee not found exception this is created by us only okay this is created by us employee not found see employee not found so remaining let it as is so here what you have to give instead of internal error what you have to return not found not underscore not found that's it what is the http response not found and employee not found so how it is going to call so what we are throwing here if you go to jdbc jdbc repository class what we are throwing here we are throwing employee not found exception whenever you are throwing employee not found exception go to your handler this method is going to execute employee not found exception our customized user exception class is going to return as a response okay so let me send the request so i just need to stop the server let me start the server so now go to your browser go to your postman send the request three if you if i are able to see the guys what it is returning four not four not found so instead of returning generic message now we are able to display four not four error message which we are actually expecting to return this api error response so now end user or consumer or client who are invoking this api the person or the client the consumer the end user is going to use this api whenever they are going to use that api so he can easily understand the error response for not found and employee id 3 not found in database 
because of by invoking this API, find employee API. Very, very easy, guys. So let me summarize that, okay? So let me tell you again. You have to just concentrate on it. So how, how to, so earlier, before, so let me remove this. Let me comment it out, controller advice. So what will happen? Let me stop the server and let me start the server again. I'm just uh, commented out, controller advice. Now, who is going to throw the exception? Spring Boot will throw uh, respect ex exception from response entity exception handler. So now let me just uh, send the request. You can see, see, 404, see, 404, not found. It is throwing, not found. Who is who is throwing? So we are in our JDBC repository. We are throwing employee not found exception. So this is the exception is coming by by uh, because of uh, response entity exception handler. So now this message we have customized it. We have customized it. So not found in the sense uh, end user simply he can't understand. So what is not found? What is not found? He don't know what is not found and uh, what is that uh, error message for not for. So now what we have done, we have created our own customized response. What we have done, our own customized response. How we have done by creating, by creating our own custom exception handler. How we can create by creating the class which is extending response entity exception handler and that class should extend uh, so the, the class should specify with at the rate controller advice what does it mean controller advice says spring container to use this custom exception handler to display error message for all the apis which are available in controllers okay that is the meaning of at the rate controller advice okay so now we are overriding all the we are making use of all the features which are available in response entity exception handler by overriding specifying the respective definition and by specifying exception handler uh, so any generic exception it comes other than employee not found other than employee not found any exception comes this method is going to execute if employee not found exception comes this method is going to execute like this you can add as many number of methods which you want to display error messages okay this is very very easy guys so let me stop the server and let me start the server again so this is how you can handle custom user defined exception in spring or spring boot in spring or spring boot employee id not found in database okay Uh, you guys have to practice every day guys without practicing you can't understand anything i am teaching in very very simple way each and every concept you can make it note in your notebook and you can prepare for your interviews or for your development to improve your development skills you have to make it note all those things okay so we'll uh, what we can do further so, so far we have, you know now how to uh, handle the exceptions and uh, how to write your custom user exceptions. Now you know how to create APIs, how to create a JDBC repository and how to uh, connect with the uh, database by using JDBC template. And you know how to create exception handler, you know how to create your customized exception class, everything you know. So you have, you just need to make it note in your book and make it practice by step by step what you are going to learn. With just simply watching video, you can, it cannot helpful for you. Just watching videos cannot helpful for you. You have to uh, make one notebook and make all the points which I am teaching, write it there. And going forward, you can go through that notebook and you can prepare by yourself and you can practice by yourself. So whenever you are joining after two months, guys, after two months in the sense, end of this course, whether and this course is going to end in, a, um, uh, how we can say, in 45 days or two months. I'm, I'm trying to close as soon as possible because most of the people are saying, why because uh see everybody will do the business let me stop the recording guys i want to tell you one thing okay so